Connor, just can you give me your sense of kind of where, where the group is at? Once again, my teammates come up short. All right, so welcome to our Honest Press Conferences, where we say what the athletes really want to say. And I never updated the names on this. <laughs> so it's going to take me one second just to get that in there. Okay, so uh, we got only a, we got uh, two guys that are coming on today of to express their thoughts. And uh, the, we're going to start with the first one, Vladimir Tarasenko is going to join us, and he'll be played by Mr. Anthony Larocco. So, came I made it public earlier in the summer that I, I requested to be traded from the St. Louis Blues. Um, I think everyone at this point knows the reason why. Um, I had I missed some ample time over the last uh, year and a half. Um, I had two different shoulder surgeries, and come to find out that the St. Louis Blues doctors never even repaired the issue in the first two surgeries. And it cost me a lot of time playing. And, you know, it's one of the reasons why I want out from St. Louis. Um, you know, when I went to go get the third surgery from an independent surgeon, lo and behold, they fixed the issue and now I'm healthy. Um, this all could have been avoided if they just would have fixed it the first time. Um, you know, I, I would have been healthier. I would have probably been more productive. I would have played out more of a role. Um, and it would have suited everybody, but that didn't happen. And now, uh, I want a new start. I want a fresh start. People are saying, oh, you know, now his shoulder's done. He won't be the same player. I have a lot to prove. I know I could go back to being a 35, 40 goal player. Um, and I don't feel like it's best for anybody's interest if that continues on the St. Louis Blues. Um, you know, Doug Armstrong had ample time to trade me. Could have traded me at the draft around the expansion draft. They left me unprotected. Um, you know, Seattle wanted to take me, but, you know, they would have to flip me to another team and, um, you know, I don't know if they wanted to retain salary or whatnot, but that didn't happen. Uh, and lo and behold, I'm still a St. Louis Blue. Uh, I'm not really happy about it. You know, training camp's coming up here in a month. Um, and while I will report St. Louis and, you know, be a good teammate and be a good soldier, um, I think it would be best if I have a fresh start by then. So I'm hoping that they can find a trade for me um, and not really be so unrealistic with what they're asking for. I mean, I don't know. That's not my job, but uh, at the same time, I made it clear that I wanted to be traded, um, and I expected it that it had already been done, um, and it hasn't. And, you know, I'm pretty upset about it. Uh, like I said, I just want a fresh start on a new team um, and start a new chapter in my career. But I'm fully healthy. My shoulder feels good. Um, I know I can fill the net. Uh, so just make it happen, Dougie. Pull the trigger. I'll take some questions. Vladimir, now, with everything that's going on in St. Louis, are there any prospective teams that you would like to go to? You know, Maybe you could see yourself playing with certain players. It's got to be an interesting situation considering that you're, you're on a contender right now and there may not be many contenders who might have the cap space and the wherewithal to pull this deal off. Um, there's been speculation about my lists, uh, but one thing I'll say for that last part, like I'm not – I'm not a GM. I don't really care um, who has the room for me or whatnot. It's the it's the Blues general manager, Doug Armstrong, to, to accommodate me and trade me to one of the teams I want to go to. Simple as that. And teams I want to go to, um, you know, trade me, trade me to the, you know, trade me to the New York Islanders, trade me to the New York Rangers, uh, you know, trade me to the Carolina Hurricanes, the Vegas Golden Knights, the Boston Bruins, Philadelphia Flyers, Washington Capitals. Florida Panthers, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, I know they can't fit me for sure, but any one of those teams, just please, just please trade me too. I know I could be a difference maker on any of those teams, um, and, you know, I think it would be a, a perfect marriage on any of them. All good cities all offer a different, different bit of things, but I'll play for any of those teams gladly, um, and I really hope that Doug Armstrong makes it happen because I want out, and, I mean, boy, like, Play next to Matt Barzell on Long Island in a new arena, man, we can make magic together. Or, you know, Carolina with Sebastian Ajo, you know, just it's it's something that I, 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 I frankly, I dream about. I want to be out. I want out. I want to play on one of those teams. So make it happen already. How did I know that Islanders bit was coming? <laughs> well, I, I <laughs> put good money on that one. Um, okay, Evander. 
Are you okay with being a uh, second fiddle right now after being a star on St. Louis for the last 10 years? Second fiddle? Second fiddle to who? And no matter what team I go to, I'm going to be one of the top players on the team. You know, if you want to call it equal or me being better, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not second fiddle to anybody. I'm an elite goal scorer and no matter where I go, they're going to treat me like one. So that's some stupid ass question you asked me right there. <laughs> um, you no, know, but like I said, uh, I, I just want to go to a team, fit in, win a cup. Yeah, I'm a team player, and I'll do it. I'll do whatever the coach asks me to do. But second fiddle, I'm not second fiddle to anybody. I'm an elite goal scorer. That's right. That's right, Vlad. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Vlad. And uh, it was great for you to stop by. Shoulders good. See. <laughs> All right. So that was Vladimir Tarasenko stopping by, uh, played by Anthony Larocco. And Anthony channeling some of me. Yes. Well, anytime you could ever tell me I asked a stupid question is always a good thing. <laughs> uh, so now we need to get Mika Zabanajad in, and he will be played by John Fulkowski. Uh, see all this Jack Eichel talk and everything is going on around the NHL and the New York Rangers and even some of our fans or podcasts are putting up billboards to try to get this guy here. Dude, I'm the man here. I'm the number one center. And I get it. Artemi Panarin's our best player. Yeah, you could say that, but I'm right there. I'm not too far off. And I, I'm not a second fiddle type guy. I'm this team's top center, and I have been for the last four years. So you know what? I don't want to hear it from anybody. And Jack Eichel, if they get him, great. If not, then you know what? You got me. I'm the guy. I'm the guy that's throwing his body around. I'm not the guy with the neck injury. I'm the guy with the big blast from the point. So you're not worrying about Jack Eichel. you got to worry about me. I'm the man. Put players around me. Panarin, Fox, and give, give me Lafreniere on that line, please, because Chris Kreider, I, I love I love Chris. Me and Chris are good friends, but Lafreniere can make plays. Chris is not really much of a playmaker. I think Chris could help elsewhere. So but let, let's go forward with this. Let's move on from Jack Eichel. You got you got number 93 here. You want to put me on you want to put a Ranger on the cover of NHL 22? Put me on the cover, guy. Who has questions? Well, uh, okay. Uh, so there were Ranger bloggers that were saying whether or not you would okay a trade to a different club, let's say like Buffalo or possibly even Vancouver in a trade for uh, Elias Pedersen as a fan uh, wrote in on YouTube at one point. Uh, can, can you say, uh, can you confirm whether or not you would waive your no trade clause to move to one of those organizations? What kind of friggin' question is that? <laughs> you want me to go play for that organization? Oh, man. I mean, if I, if I could do recreational drugs during the offseason, I'd ask for whatever you have because you're smoking some good shit over there, buddy. Um, yeah, no way. Uh, no way, no how. I'm not approving a trade to Buffalo, of all places, and dealing with whatever – clown show management that they have going on there and uh, uh vancouver no why why would i go and do that i mean they've got a nice team but they're young and they're not really close to competing to a stanley cup competing for a stanley cup i would just stay in new york and re-sign in new york for you know for whatever so um yeah i i don't know what i don't know what that was about and i don't know why fans think that uh I would accept a, a, a trade to go to Buffalo because I don't think anybody would do that. Mika, um, there is something to be said for being wanted. So if it came to the point where the Rangers were shopping you for whatever reason, um, you would you would still not waive your your you know your no movement just to stay, even if they wanted to move on from you. You wouldn't want to be like, all right, well. Sure, trade me to somewhere where I'm wanted and give them a list of teams that you'd be willing to go to. Isn't that something that, you know, would make sense if the Rangers really came to you and said they wanted to move on? Um, is That's a big difference between that and accepting a trade to Buffalo. 
Like you, you want to, you want to, you want to send, you want to send me out to pasture. You send me to Buffalo. You, you want me to retire at that point. You send me to Buffalo. You send me to a team that, you know, has a chance of winning and actually has an organization that's well ran. Then yeah. You know what? Okay. Maybe, maybe that's a possibility, but why would a team do that when I've got one year left on my deal? Why? What are you looking for for your next deal? A ch- a ch- I'm going to quote Elias Pettersson here, funny enough that you mentioned him in with my name, because I don't think Vancouver would do that. I, I don't know why they would go, what, seven or eight years older to uh, – uh, or six to seven years older, I'm sorry – for a, a younger player that could possibly be even better than I am one day. Um, I just want a place where I have a chance to win. But I also want a place where I can get a decent payday. Isn't that what everybody wants when they play in the NHL? You want a chance to win, but you also want to get paid? So, I mean, if there's flexibility to be had, then give me a list of some teams that – have the space that have the willingness to to sign me to that next deal and that are that are ready to contend so uh i haven't seen anything yet nobody's come to me with with any type of trade requests the organization hasn't said a thing to me why am i going to uh why am I going to sit there and, and entertain Buffalo of all places though like that 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 one right there is a little kind of off the wall, don't you think? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of yeah. understand what you mean by that one. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to entertain conversations, but I, I don't think, I, I, I think that you would have to kind of like put someone in a hostage situation to get them to go play for the Sabers right now. Good luck to Owen Power and his agent because that seems like that's going to be a fun negotiation to have one day. And uh, as for um, David Quinn, um, no thanks. I-, I don't like to be told not to shoot on two on ones or not to pass. I'm sorry on two on ones. Thanks, or but stick handle. You can't stick handle on two on ones. Yeah, can't, uh, can't stick one, handle. One, yeah. One last question for you, real quick, Mika. Uh, do you think you're the one that's on the cover of NHL uh, 22? Possibly. I mean, I've got some ridiculous flow, so it, it, it would look good. I mean, I, I have a wonderful head of hair on me. So if anybody wants to talk about that, I think the only guy that could really give me a, a straight up uh, run for my money there is probably a guy that's no longer with the team who we miss. Uh, Hank, Hank just had perfect hair. I, 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 I would wear his hair as a hat if I could. But um, yeah, Hank's got some incredible hair, but I, I've got incredible hair too. But probably I would be either maybe Brad, Foxy, or maybe even myself. Who knows? You have to wait and see. And play some NHL. Buy EA Sports. <laughs> well, I do think uh, if you're there, I believe you'd be the first New York Ranger on the cover since 1994, at least the PC edition. I know that had Mike Richter on it. I'm not sure if NHL 94 had a uh, New York Ranger on it, but we no, were- it did not. Uh, NHL 94 had Wayne Gretzky and Ray Bork on the cover. And NHL 95 was Alexei Kovalov's game four breakaway in Vancouver on Kirk McLean when he fell into the net and scored. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, I guess there's, there's that. Uh, yeah. Cause I know that the PC edition and the NHL 94 had, uh, had Mike Richter, um, the save he made, I'm still going to say it's a save just for, for my own personal take, but uh, uh, on Nathan Lafayette in game seven. All right. By the way, Mika, thank you very much for joining us because uh, you're fantastic. And uh, hopefully more days with you ahead. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm better than Matt Barzell. Bye. <laughs> oh, throwing a little bit of shade out at Matt Barzell. How about that, Anthony? <laughs> Anthony, you got one game. Like you, you got one game. Who you got? Matt Barzell and Mika Zibanejad. Again? One game. You're taking Matt Barzell or Mika Zibanejad. Uh, I mean... It's a trick question. There is no wrong answer, yeah, by the way. 
<laughs> there, there really is no wrong answer. I, I'll take either one of those guys. But all right, guys. So what do you think about Vladimir Tarasenko and where he wants to land? Uh, what do you think about Mika Zibanejad and the ridiculous flow? Does Mark always ask the worst questions? And the answer, by the way, is yes, because I always want to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in this comment, I want to I want to ask I want to get the worst ones. Uh, guys, throw it all down in the comments below. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.